At the Führer Naval Conference of March 1943, Hitler holding a special naval meeting once a month, Hitler revealed to Grand Admiral Karl Dönitz, the head of the German Navy, that the Imperial Japanese Navy had requested that the Germans should present them with two U-boats. Admiral Kichisaburo Nomura, the Japanese naval attaché in Berlin, had said that the Japanese wished to copy the German design, then mass-produce the boats and deploy them against the U.S. Navy in the Pacific. Dönitz was against any such gift being made to the Japanese. He argued that the Japanese were incapable of mass-producing U-boats. In any way, they could not produce enough to change the course of the war. However, since the beginning of the war, the Germans had benefited greatly from a secret trade carried on with the Japanese, firstly by surface ships called blockade runners and later by submarines, codenamed the Yanagi trade. This had proved to be extremely useful to the German war effort and Japan had sent a vast quantity of material to the Germans. In return for raw materials from the Japanese, the Germans had sent the Japanese many, many examples of their latest technology. In the interest of protecting Germany's valuable Yanagi trade, Hitler informed Dönitz that he must give the Japanese at least one U-boat as a gesture of goodwill and friendship between the two uncommon allies. Such a gift was also have compensated the Japanese in some way for the large quantities of valuable raw materials and medicines they had generously provided to German blockade-running merchant vessels which had subsequently been lost when the merchantmen had been sunk by British and American ships attempting to run the Allied anti-blockade gauntlet. Dönitz reluctantly selected two U-boats and prepared them for delivery to the Japanese. The first was U-511, a Type 9C, which had already completed three war patrols since being commissioned in December 1941. She was in reasonable condition despite these patrols, and on the 10th of May 1943 she sailed from France under the command of Captain Leutnant Fritz Schneewind. Codenamed Marco Polo 1, U-511 carried the usual Yanagi cargo and six passengers, including Vice Admiral Numura, who was returning to Japan from his diplomatic post in Berlin, and Dr. Ernest Wehrmann, who was the new German ambassador to Japan. U-511 refuelled in late May west of Freetown from the milk tanker U-460, special class of German submarines and successfully rounded the Cape of Good Hope on the 27th of June, southeast of Madagascar. Although the boat was being delivered as a gift to the Japanese, Schneewin took the opportunities presented by the hunting in the Indian Ocean, and torpedoed and sank the Sebastiano Chemeno for just over 7,000 tons. He followed this success with the sinking of the Samuel Heinzelmann of just over 7,000 tons on the 9th of July, east southeast of Chagos Archipelago, which now forms the modern British Indian Ocean Territory. U-511 reached the German U-boat base at Penang in Malaya on the 20th of July and unloaded spare torpedoes, which were placed into storage, ready to rearm a special group of German U-boats when they eventually arrived to operate permanently in the Indian Ocean, known as the Gruppe Monsoon Boats. At this stage, Admiral Nomura disembarked and flew on to Japan. U-511 embarked a Japanese naval officer, who was to act as pilot and translator for the final journey to Japan. The U-boat reached Kurei, Japan on the 7th of August, and was commissioned into the Imperial Japanese Navy, a submarine RO-500, on the 16th of September. Schneewind and the German crew, the former U-511, boarded a Japanese ship and sailed back to the U-boat base at Penang, which was just being fully established. The redundant crew was to act as a pool of trained replacements of the U-boat base, as tropical sicknesses, injuries and accidents necessitated a steady flow of quality manpower, something which the crews of German naval auxiliaries were unable to provide at Penang due to the particular training requirements and standards of submariners. RO-500 continued to serve the Japanese Navy for the rest of the war, finally being surrendered to the U.S. Navy at Maizuru, Japan, in August 1945. The Americans scuttled the boat in the Gulf of Maizuru on the 30th of April 1946, and she lies there today. 
The second gift boat from Hitler to Emperor Hirohito, U-1224, was the last boat to sail during March 1944 from Europe. She was a brand new Type 9C40 and went out along with many of the other boats which would operate in the Indian Ocean at a series of new U-boat bases established in what is today in Malaysia and Indonesia. Constructed by Deutsche Werft in Hamburg, U-1224 had been placed under the temporary command of Kapitän Leutnant Georg Preuss, who would go on to command U-875 until the end of the war. The Japanese had already provided a crew for U-1224, and they had travelled to Germany aboard the Japanese submarine I-8 the previous year, which had made a dangerous journey all the way to German-occupied France. After extensive training on the unfamiliar U-boat under Preuss, a Japanese officer, Lieutenant Commander Norita, assumed command. U-1224 then left Kriegsmarine service with the 31st U-Flotilla, being recommissioned as RO-501 of the Imperial Japanese Navy's 8th Submarine Flotilla. On the 30th of March 1944, RO-501, codenamed Marco Polo II by the Germans, following the voyage of Marco Polo I, or U-511, she was to sail into troubled waters. Allied intelligence were aware of her presence, and the Americans determined to hunt down and destroy the RO-501 long before she had a chance to reach the Far East. Ultra decryptions from German Enigma traffic allowed the Americans to position an interception force consisting of the aircraft carrier USS Bogue and five destroyer escorts to search the area through which it was known that the former U-boat would sail. The American intelligence estimates proved accurate. From the 13th of May 1944, the destroyer escort USS Francis M. Robinson caught the RO-501 on sonar off the Cape Verde Islands, West Africa, enabling her to launch an immediate and devastating depth charge and hedgehog mortar attack. The RO-501 took the entire Japanese crew and several German advisers down with her and was never heard from again. Thanks for listening. If you're interested further in the story of the Yanagi trade, that is the secret underwater trade between Germany and Japan, look no further than my book published in 2004 called Yanagi. Please also visit my video channel, Mark Felton Productions, also on YouTube. And you can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below. <laughs>